This is Sweet June, SJ Talks in Life, coming back at you with another video topic. I just realized that my shirt was on backwards. I had my... You ever do that? You ever put a shirt on and you put it on? I can't... It was kind of dark when I got dressed. And then you realize that you put your pants on or your shirt on backwards. I do that every now and again. Anyway, um... Everybody, Cardi B is under fire um, right now uh, because she did a rant on Facebook. Um, I think, yeah, it was on Facebook talking about she was cursed. She's been cursed with fame. She said, and um, to kind of uh, sum up what she was saying, she was saying how she, every time she says something, express her opinion. She's in trouble and she can't, she feel like she can't express herself and can't say anything. Because every time she says something, express an opinion or whatever, it's taken out of context and she gets in trouble. So she says she feel like she, um, you know, um, she says she don't like being famous. She says she feels like she's been, she's been cursed, got God cursed her. I had a problem when she said God. She said, I feel like God cursed me with fame because, no, don't put that on our God. God didn't curse you with nothing. God doesn't put curses on people. I mean, God didn't curse her with fame. Uh, no, there's a saying, <clears throat> be careful what you ask for because we have to be really careful about what we ask for because you might get what you're asking for. It is not going to be the way you thought it was going to be or the way you want it to be want it to be or the way you thought it's going to be. Um, everything comes with a price and fame comes with a price. You know, uh, that money, that fame and fortune comes with a price. And she was talking about how um, she gets out of every time she says something, you know, it gets taken out of context and she's in trouble and says so she's talking about if she could go back to 2013, she would go back to being a stripper Really? You want to be a stripper again? <laughs> that just that I mean, that just shows you, you know, that's the that just shows you that mentality. Um why why not say, well, I wish I could go back and do something different other than being a stripper. How about that? There's nothing wrong with her wanting to go back. But why not go back and do something different besides being a stripper? That's not a good profession for a woman to be in. But she said she could go back and wish she could go back and be a stripper. And, um, and and the thing about fame is is that because I tell my son this, he be saying he want to be famous. I'm like, be careful, baby. I said, be careful, baby, what you asking for. I said, because once you become famous, you can't turn back the clock. Once you people don't understand that, once you become famous, you can't go back to being a regular person. You can't go back. Once you become famous, you can't go back. Because I know Whitney Houston, um, she said uh, in a few of her interviews, she said that um, she just wanted to sing. She said, I just wanted to sing because she loved to sing. She said, I just wanted to sing. I didn't want to. I didn't want all this, you know, and cameras following me around and stuff like that. And, you know, lying on me in the tabloids. And, um, and then when she got with Bobby, oh my God, she was in the tabloids. They was in the tabloids every week, you know? And she said, she didn't want all that. She said she was, she could go back to being a regular person, you know? And, she she just I just wanted to sing. That's all I wanted to do. You know, so I hear a lot of celebrities say that. I hear a lot of celebrities say that um, they didn't necessarily want the fame. That she said, Cardi said she'll take the money. She said she said wish to be rich, but don't wish to be wish to be famous. <laughs> I used to wanted to be famous at one time, 
But I, I see what every I see what them people are going through, and even some of the people here on YouTube, uh, even the YouTubers in the YouTube streets, I see what some of these YouTubers be going through, and man, um, and that's on a much smaller scale. It's on a much smaller scale compared to the celebrities. So I'm not trying to blow up here on YouTube. I'm really not, you know. I'll just be happy to get monetized. I just want to get monetized. Maybe get more views on my videos. It would be nice to get more views on my videos and get monetized. Make a little coin, you know. Uh, I'm not trying to blow up on here. I ain't trying to blow up, you know. Because I see what the some of these YouTubers, they get subscribers in the millions and everything. And I'm seeing what some of them be going through. Um, they be going through that celebrity type stuff. And so it's, yeah, I, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, I kind of feel for her in a sense, but, um, I don't think she should put that on God. Say God cursed. No, God didn't curse you with that. You know, and sometimes the devil, we have to be careful because sometimes the devil will give us what we ask for too. Because the Bible said Satan is the God of this earth. It says Satan is the God of this earth. He's the God of this world. And they said, so Satan can sometimes give you what you ask for too. And you know it. We all know that Satan don't have our best interests at heart. So I don't think she should be putting that on God. You know. Um, you you asked for it. You, 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 you sought it out. If you seek it out, people seek out fame. Um you seek it out. You you make you make different moves and based on the moves that you make you you are you are led to that direction. So you know it is what it is. And so once you get to a certain level you can't you can't go back. You can't go back to being a regular person. Um I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if how famous she really is because I don't think she's that. I don't think she's super famous. I, I don't know. Maybe she can go back under the radar a little bit. I don't know. Which let me know in the comment section what you think. Can Cardi B go back to being a regular person? Or is she she ain't never gonna be no regular person? They always gonna recognize her, but can she kind of go back to, you know, um, under, you know, minimize her fame? Can she, can she, can she minimize her fame or is she at the point to where she's so famous that she can't do that? Cause once you get to a certain level of fame, you can't, you can't go back like Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson couldn't be, they had to close down a supermarket so Michael Jackson could go shopping. When Michael Jackson was here. It was very, very, very sad. He said, I that's why he had an amusement park at Neverland. He had an amusement park and everything at his at, at his house because he couldn't go to the amusement park unless he wore disguise. He said, The only way I can go out is I had to wear a disguise. He said, because I get mobbed. Yeah, they he gets he used to get mobbed by fans. I mean, he was like the biggest star in the world. So ain't no way in heck I don't want that kind of thing where you can't even leave the crib and you got reporters and everything parked outside your house. I, I don't even, I, I just can't even begin to imagine. I'm kind of a private person, so that's crazy, you know? Um, paparazzo and everything parked outside your house, that's, that's a little excessive, you know? You, you like taking pictures of you and stuff you gotta make sure you ain't you looking good that's it's too much seems like it's a lot of pressure so it's a lot so let me know in the comment section because i'm not a fan of cardi b i'm just not a fan um i'm just not a fan i i you know i think she's okay as a person but i don't like her image you know and i'm just a lot of these rappers and these entertaining now entertain i kind of got i'm kind of getting into lizzo stuff I, I kind of getting into her stuff. I kind of like some of Lizzo's, Lizzo's music. Um, but most of these young people that's out now, 
I'm not a fan. Of, I just don't like this rap music. This crap. I hope my son don't see this video, but I don't like his music either. <laughs> I already told him that, though. I said, I'm sorry, man. I'm not a fan. <laughs> uh, it's just this stuff that these young people be putting out here. I don't know what they be putting out, and you can't understand what they be saying. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know, like the, the, oh, I like the old school rap. The old school rappers, you can kind of, you can understand what they were saying. It's a huge difference because you can understand what they were saying. But these young, these younger generations, you can't understand what they're saying. And then when they, when you, when they do say it, they cussing and going on. They doing all that cussing and talking nasty and degrading women. And oh, uh, uh, I, I don't need it. I don't need it. I listen to a lot of old school the stuff. We need to get back to real entertainers. But that's a whole nother video. We need to get back to real entertainers, real singers, real rappers that that knew how to rap. You know, these youngins can learn a lot from these old school, these old school rappers. They can learn a lot. Back in the 90s, these rappers was, they didn't even use foul language, but they were good. You know, they were good at what they did. And they didn't have to use foul language. These, these rappers now, every, every other word is a cuss word. Nobody wants to. Who wants to hear that? Can you call that music? Anyway, that's what they do now. But let me know in the comment section what you think about Cardi B. Can she go back to to to? Can she minimize her fame? But if she minimize her fame, she might minimize her money. So you got to think about that too. You minimize that fame, you're gonna minimize that coin. She might have to downsize her lifestyle. If she minimized her fame, she might have to downsize her lifestyle. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but just make sure that you not you can survive, you know. So just hit me up in the comment section. Let me know um, what you think about if you heard about Cardi B. They say she's complaining. And the thing about celebrities, um, if celebrities should be talking to other celebrities or a therapist or God about their issues because us regular people can't relate. We can't relate to what you're going through. We're just trying to figure out how we're going to pay the rent. We can't figure out how we're going to eat. So we, we got, we worried about how we're going to eat, how we're going to pay, how we're going to put gas in the car to get where we got to go to get to work or whatever, or get where we got to go. We're not on that level. We're not in them circles. We're not on that level. We can't relate to you. They've been on Facebook or Instagram. I, I can't relate. I can't relate. We can't relate. We're so busy worrying about how we're going to survive. We can't relate. So they need to complain to other celebrities or a, a, a therapist. You know, she should be having that conversation with her therapist or God or somebody, another celebrity that can relate to you. You feel me? Or close friend. Somebody that can can relate to what you're saying. Well, this us everyday people, we can't relate to that. Most of the time people don't feel sorry for celebrities because they they're rich. They got they got a whole lot of money. So, and I know we we all know they got problems too, but at the level that they're on people people can't relate. So, hit me up in the comment section, let me know what your thoughts were. If you if you heard that you think Cardi B is complaining she needed to suck it up or whatever or whatever the situation is okay hit the, hit the like if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe share and notification bell until the next video peace